Well, longer wait times and shorter hours, pharmacies are doing all that they can to keep up with the heightened demand amid a tight labor market. Fox 9's Courtney Godfrey explains how finding staff is becoming harder in both those big box and mom and pop stores. Setzer Pharmacy in St. Paul says they can only raise hourly wages so much, and right now they're about eight to ten people short. It's one that's going to have you sign for the medication. Halfway through another 13 hour shift, perfect, and you're all set. Store manager James Cheetah is doing all he can not to cut pharmacy hours. I don't want to say everyone is tired, but it's it's tiring from COVID tests to COVID vaccines in the last two years pharmacists everywhere have been asked to do more and from the big box to the mom and pop finding staff to help is tougher than ever before it's not just one or two people everyone is going above and beyond and everyone is trying to provide the best service they can for our customers but over time it does get tough cvs declared it was looking to hire 25,000 employees nationwide in september while walgreens gave a 1200 dollars bonus to full-time pharmacists both chains recently raising starting hourly wage to 15 dollars but at a small business like Setzer, they've gone as far as they can go, adjusting for low staffing levels. Most of our customers do understand. And while wait times are up, so is customer appreciation. A lot of us stay here because it does feel like family between the customers and the other employees. Courtney Godfrey, Fox 9.